Mother's Day, fair warning, is this Sunday. And if your mom is someone who loves to entertain, then a cheese board would be a great gift or something you could do for her. And today we're taking it one step ahead. We're also showing you how to build the perfect cheese plate as well. Here to take us through the steps is uh, cheese master, Afrin Pristine. Thank and I'm not just much. making that title up. You no. are actually a maître formager, which I is am. like a sommelier, but for cheese. You got it. I love that. And you are the youngest one in the world, correct? I am. I am. What a great job. Oh, I feel old these days. No, don't. don't. Just keep telling them you're the youngest. Okay, all right. I will. You have picked all Canadian cheeses, also I which I love because I tend to select from the regions that I know, like I, France and Holland. And, and I've been trained in all those places, but I'm a very proud Canadian and we're making world-class cheese here. So Canada 150, right? So Canadian cheese. I love it. Walk us through. Okay, so we're going to start kind of mildest and go to strongest. And kind of when you're building a cheese board, you want to remember that, right? So really nice Quebec goat's milk cheese. Look at that. Beautiful, running all over the place. And this is a softer texture. Very soft. So kind of when you're building a cheese board too, you, you want to think that. You don't really want to um, pair cheeses, but you want to contrast the flavors and contrast the different textures as well. Right. So we have beautiful creamy goat's milk cheese from Ooh, this Quebec. One. So this is an award-winning cheese called Lancaster. If you want to try that, go I ahead. I do. Excuse my fingers. So from Lancaster, Ontario, cow's milk, oh, really made in good. the Gouda style. Okay, so kind of very, oh, that really kind nice. of Dutch, really nutty, really sweet, almost kind of fruity. Mm -hmm. And this is aged uh, down at the shop for 18 months. Nice kind of blocks like that. I, nice, I love it. I like that kind of nice rustic look with cheese. Cheese is natural, so you mm -hmm. just want to let it shine, you know? How big of pieces should we cut? Well, it depends how many people you have, but you want to go with about an ounce of total cheese per person. Okay. So about that, if you have maybe a group of 10, like we're building a platter for about a group of 10. Oh, see, my friends are greedy. I would have to do way more than that in the, that size. Okay, so group of five? Okay, okay perfect. All right, good. So What's this one? This is a cow's milk cheese, so it's Mother's Day. We have to splurge. If this is one time of the year to splurge, it's for our mothers. Okay. Okay, so this is... Try a little Cut bit of that, but there. smell it before. Black truffles. Oh, well, that's what I'm smelling. So this is from Ontario, made at Mountain Oak Dairy. It's a cow's milk cheese infused oh, with really nice. beautiful fresh black truffles, that beautiful aromatics. Super, super tasty. If it was not rude, I would pick that whole hunk up and eat it right now. I don't mind. So I'll, good. I'll look away, okay? So a little bit more of that. And this last one and here? And then we're going to go all the way to Prince Edward Island. So we're, we're traveling across Canada here. So this is a really very, um, old school, very English style way of making cheddar. Mm -hmm. It's done in cloth. So it ages about 18 months. And it's interesting because it smells like potatoes, right? Prince Edward Island, home oh, of potatoes. Okay. And it's very kind of potato-y. Now you've let this one sort of crumble a little bit, cut it in yeah. really rough chunks. Use my beautiful kind of trusty cheese chisel. And when you're building a board too, to go out and, and buy some nice knives, I like that. I like just a nice kind of rustic piece of cheese. It looks natural, it looks real. People, you gotta remember, this is kind of made on a farm, right? Made right. with two hands, it's a real organic natural product. Does it matter what kind of board you put it on after? I think so. I like using kind of a hardwood, because yeah. if you take a knife to it, it won't kind of damage. I don't like using a lot of marble or slate. I just think oh. wood and cheese just kind of, they live with each other, so I think that should belong with each other. Okay, let's move over here because you've got some great garnishes that sound fancy, but you promised me are fairly easy. I promise, okay, okay, so we got a hot pan here. Okay, a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna roast off some grapes. Oh, that sounds good. So really, really simple. Okay, we're gonna take a couple, leave it on the bunch there like that. Okay, and just, and you really wanna get, get a nice sizzle. kind of sizzle, okay? Get the olive oil going, coat the grapes, and a little bit of salt, good salt. A little sweet and a little okay? tart, right? That's it. And you really almost wanna, and a little bit of fresh black yeah. pepper. Nice sizzle, sizzle, that means it's working. And you almost want to blister the grapes okay. and really open up the flavor. And then put them out with the cheese? Absolutely. Here are some other creative garnishes that I love. This is the natural honeycomb. You got it. So this is... Now, is this not messy for guests to eat? How do you do this? Absolutely, but it's so delicious. <laughs> so this is as pure food as there is. Organic honeycomb Yum. coming from down in Niagara, right? We have a beautiful, beautiful climate for bees. So some nice uh, honeycomb, which goes really, really well with the last sheet. Oh, blue, nice and strong. Okay. So if you're not a fan of blue, try it with the honeycomb. Oh, it really okay. kind of sweetens it up, sweet and salty. You want to? It's like cooking, and you want to contrast your flavors. Right. Whenever you're playing with some really fun garnish. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Then we have some really nice dark, dark chocolate. chocolate. 
that's gonna go really nicely with the cheddar. Salty, you got bitter, we have sweet, we have a little bit of all the components there. Give these bad boys This would be a gift here. I love, hint, hint, to my husband, hopefully, who is watching. I'm gonna let you do our last garnish here. Caramelized onion chutney yeah. smell. Oh yeah, that's good. Sweet, savory, Ooh. just sweat down some onions. This is lunch right here. This is lunch, this is breakfast, this is dessert, whatever you want. A little bit of that right on top. I love this. Okay. So good, and all Canadian, which is amazing. All Canadian. Good to have a cheese master here to show that's us how to it, do it. That's it, that's it, any time. And okay. just plunk those right on there. Just plunk those right on there. You got the nice blisters, and that is Mother That's Day it. Cheese All right. If you are inspired like we are here, uh, you can check out our website, yourmorning.ca. We've got all the information on the cheeses. Efren, thanks so much. My Please come back again. My absolute pleasure. Love it. Thank you.